the Chronicles. I'm your host, Chad. It is uh, day 509. 509. Sounds like a cleaning product in the future. Uh, oh, I guess he uh, bush hogged the field yesterday. Neat. All right, so yeah, see bush hog yesterday, which is cool, because, I don't know, makes the animals happy because it runs all the mice and everything everywhere. No, quit eating bees. Ah, oh, this guy. I why he eats bees. It's just strange. He does not like a bee. And we got all these little white flowers in the yard, and it's just like, you know, it's like a buffet for him. He's like, aha. Oh. He's not very good at catching bees, which I guess is good. I don't know. Just does not like buzzy things. Oh, me. So, it's Sunday. Um, I guess yesterday was World Golf Day. I don't know. It's one of the things I don't really participate with in. And I would, except for the fact that it keeps changing to be convenient for a weekend. It's like as far as like... Everyone's like, I'm World God Day. He's like, well, it's not World God Day because that was yesterday. Uh, well, it's, this is, you know, I don't know. It's whatever. People want to celebrate, they can celebrate. Um, but I think it's the May 23rd, I believe. And, yes, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. May, get on the house a little bit. Should probably go to the store. It's the Sunday thing, but I don't know. I think I should probably do something on the house because I know those days are coming to an end soon. Oh, jeez, dude. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, well, it's about 8.30, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish uh, doing the trim on the side, I think. Um, but of course, <sighs> like, like always, I've got to go to, uh, Lowe's for caulk. So maybe I'll go to the store first, get some drinks and then go over there. Cause I don't think they open till nine. <coughs> oh, mercy. I'm not really sure. Either way, I kind of feel like I need to, uh, go ahead and get that done. At least I have one coat on it. And then it'll be one coat for the green, one coat for the, the uh, off-white. And so we'll try that and then kind of see where we are. Because I don't know, I mean, I could technically start the next section and get it prepped, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to jump on that or not, but I will be kind of happy to get to the back because I think, you know, it's lower. Um, there's a lot of windows though, so I'm not really sure. Huh. So we're going to do that. Hi, it's about 12 o'clock. I got all the trim done, one coat, and now I'm going to make little cardboard templates for those spaces um, so that way when I get what I'm going to get for up there I can just trace it onto that and cut it and it'll be easier to manhandle I think so I got my uh, GoPro holder thing and uh, hmm. so it does exactly what it's supposed to do so kind of works out but uh, now I've got to find cardboard that's the right size are big enough so that I could whittle it down to the right size. So that's what I'm doing. All right, we've had some lunch and uh, these crowds are kind of neat. They're all in a row. Kind of weird. Except for that guy. Neat. So, um, 
got two templates cut so far out of cardboard and I'm gonna continue to cut templates because when I went to Lowe's today I saw some like shower wall type stuff it's kind of white textury looking it might work in a pinch I think so you know if I can get all these things cut then when I cut it out of that it'll be easier and I won't since it's more expensive than cardboard, because cardboard's free, um, I get, uh, I can, I maybe won't make ways to cut. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'm not really sure, because, you know, again, we're just kind of making things work, is, as of right now, get like a thin, like maybe three-eighths inch plywood piece, maybe quarter five sixteenth something um and i'm gonna cut that out too and then i can like glue liquid nails something you know uh the shower wall piece to the plywood and then it'll make it a little more deeper and more sturdy and then i can secure that up so that's i think what i'm going to try to do but now I've got to get my tunes going because I need some inspirations. All right, it's uh, 2.46. I've got five templates made. And uh, because I'm a crazy person, I'm going to go back to Lowe's. So we're going to try to... I, I'm pretty sure five is of those pieces is what I can get out of a sheet. So, it's kind of why I stopped there. I'm not sure it's going to work. But, in the event that it does work, you know, I'm just getting one. So, we're going to try to do, get that shower wall stuff, and uh, then maybe a piece of plywood. I know now is not the time to buy plywood, apparently. So, I don't know how to do that, but it's just going to have to be what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. And, uh, that's all I know. Don't want to go. Alright, so I'm not going to say success. I'm going to say, wow, we. So, Apparently, thanks to the whatever's going on, like the cheapest piece of plywood there was like forty-two dollars. I'm I don't mean treated. I mean just regular plywood. It's like it's crazy. So the only option I had uh, was Luon. So. But it's not that thick, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. But, uh, if it's going to work at all. And the shower wall thing is like this vinyl. So, I don't know if this is going to work at all. What's going on traffic-wise? It's like, uh, it's like super traffic for this dumbass little town. It's like everybody's driving. Anyway, um, so I got the shower wall. Like I said, it's like a vinyl. It's not even like a board, so I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, so we're gonna give a shot and see what happens. All right, so here's what we're trying to do. Got my plywood here that I cut, sanded it down, and this is my shower wall. As you can see, it's just flimsy, like vinyl. So we're gonna glue that like that and it'll make that rigid and then I can put it up top is this gonna work uh, we'll see all right well is it gonna work kids <laughs> I don't know but so far so good got those two done so I don't know. I still gotta.
prime them and paint them, of course. But, you know, got to uh, use my little nail gun to hang it up and uh, use the caulk to cover the little nail holes. But it's not going anywhere, and then I caulked around the edges. I used an off-white caulk, if that's why you can see it. But that was only because they didn't have white. So we got off-white. It's going to be painted anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah, not too shabby, I don't think. Might try to do one more, and uh, then we'll see how it goes. So I smear adhesive on it, and then pop the piece on it. Once I put it on there, I press it real good, and clamp it. Well, trusty viewers, it is 7 14 and I got three panels up doot 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 now that's kind of how it looks I'm gonna be honest kids I didn't really know if it's gonna work because you can't ask people if it's gonna work because they have no idea they don't understand what you're doing and why you're doing it and why you don't just do this and it's just da 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 da. And it's either because A, it won't work or B, they don't know. And they can't think outside the box. So I feel like that looks a lot like stucco, for at least from down here. It does. And uh, tomorrow I can prime it and then paint it. And so we'll see if it holds up to the elements or not. Because, I mean, it should. Don't know why it wouldn't. I mean, it's basically like vinyl. And I got the edges caulked, so... And all the nail holes. Or the little bread nails I put in it caulked. So, there's really no way for water to get in there. So, mmm... This is a, it's kind of a new adventure, kids. We just don't know what we're doing. But, at least for now, it looks infinitely better to me. Wow, it looks better. So, I think this is going to call it for today. Um, might go get me a mixed drink. Because, ow, oh, screwdriver's in my pocket. That doesn't go there. Um, just because... I deserve it. So we got the that side painted, or at least one one coat, and we got this started. And you know, like I said, I I don't know if it's going to work. I didn't know if it was going to work. I think I like the Loctite adhesive uh, caulk adhesive better. Seems to set faster um, than the other I got because I didn't really know what to get. Because again. Who does this? Nobody. So maybe it'll be be all right. It's not supposed to rain until like Friday, I think. Thursday, Friday, something like that. So we got some some time to get it nice and prepared, and then we'll just kind of see how it goes. So tomorrow I've got to take the Hellcat to get it inspected in the morning. That's the first thing I got to do. So I got to do that, and then. Probably wouldn't hurt to get the van inspected too because it's it's going to be due in june so it's may now might as well go ahead and get it inspected um and then hopefully that kind of goes off without a hitch and if i get that done quick enough then i'll go finish what i got here so only thing i'm a little concerned about is the uh luan i was going to get was a little thin i was like i don't know if this is going to work so I had like some plywood and I used it and it seemed to be a better thickness. Problem is, I didn't have a whole lot. I got enough for maybe one more panel. That one. Um, and then I've got another old piece of plywood in there. It's a little thinner, I think. I'm not real sure, but uh, it might work because I don't want to pay $45 for a piece of plywood. So, you know, maybe it'd be worth 
getting like some of it done, like maybe get, you know, from there overdone and get it primed and painted and then kind of see how it does. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be better to do that or go ahead and do it. The whole thing, it's, it's hard to say. So we'll see. You'll see. And uh, I think I need to call my guys in the morning too at some point. Maybe I'll call them from the inspection place and uh, just kind of check in on them. I looked at the uh, uh, their routes and stuff yesterday or this morning. I can't remember. But uh, just to kind of make sure things are on up and up. Because um, i got one more month of it. So that's going to do it for for me today i think because you want, you want video of me drinking a mixed drink i don't think so so we're gonna put this screwdriver down and go upstairs because this is a job but you know you gotta think outside the box i keep saying it like that but i mean it's just man you just there's no i don't know what else to do so Anywho's, see you tomorrow.